Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Curtis Pike and I'm doing another tutorial today on Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the auto levels adjustment. Now for those of you who don't know where it is, you go to effects, it's a video effect and it's under adjust which is one of the, which is the first uh, sub menu here. So I've selected from a bunch of different free stock footage. Uh, the first one I'm going to look at is a nice um, I guess you call that an autumn day, a nice autumn day. Uh, this is the footage as is without any adjustments. Let's just take a quick look. There's not a whole lot of movement in this, if any, so uh, it's just basically a still shot. And now we're going to take a look at the auto levels effect, and it has a great effect. Let's take a look. Dropping it on there. Bang. Automatically, you'll see that the darks have gotten a little bit darker and the contrast in the uh, clip ha has really gone up by quite a bit. And this is just the default setting. So let's take a look here. This is with, its on, with it on, this is with it off. Now with it off, it looks a little bit, you know, it's a nice shot, but it's kind of washed out. And the colors don't really pop. They don't contrast each other well. Putting it on. Bang, the sky gets darker, the blacks get darker, um, great contrast, and also a bit of change in colors, as you can see. Now, auto levels, uh, it works with the shadows and highlights, and you can obviously see that, but it also can change the color cast, so it does do color correction as well. Now, in most cases, I recommend temporal smoothing. Uh, you'd want to keep that up around one second. That's the general rule, but, you know, you can adjust to taste. Um, Temporal smoothing, as I've explained in other videos, is basically instead of just evaluating each individual frame when doing the auto adjustment, it evaluates one second's worth of stuff. Uh, well, not of stuff, but of um, uh, of frames. So basically, if this is a uh, 24 frames per second, then it would look at 24 frames, 12 in front, 12 in back, or however you want to do it. Um, also, let's take a look at the black and white clipping here. You can adjust this to taste. It's kind of whatever you like. So it, it starts off with a pretty nice look, but you can go ahead and make the darkers dark, clip the darks, or maybe try and get some of that to the lights to pop. Uh, obviously, this is really up to you. That I mean that looks pretty nice right there. That's That's got a great contrast. Um, clipping, just so you know, gets rid of the more extreme value. So, for example, the... In the black case, we the 0.6 most extreme um, blacks would get uh, ignored, and then you would it would render a default black color. So um, clipping is 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 pretty nice, but we don't need to get into that. And uh, also, the last thing you might want to look at is blending with original. So if you blend it to 100%, obviously that is the original. 0% that is the color corrected uh, without any blending. So uh, generally I don't really do too much blending. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, go ahead if you want to. And anyways, let's take a look here at this auto levels effect. Here's what we started with. Not bad, but a little bit washed out and not much contrast. And then here's what we finished with. Pretty nice. Everything's looking good. Uh, the thing about auto effects, auto color, auto contrast, auto levels is that you really don't need to be a color correction kind of guy. You don't have to really know what you're doing um, to get some pretty nice effects. Now obviously there's some other um, effects out there that you could use that might be a little bit better but uh, for just getting going and if you're in a time if you're in you know if you got a lot of things to do or if you're in a time crunch or you just want to get it done auto levels is a great um, effect. So anyways, thank you for joining me on this tutorial and I'll be back more with a few new ones. Cheers.